This is a follow-up video on using linear algebra to solve Fibonacci sequence. I will demonstrate how to implement matrix computation in Python using the NumPy library. In last video, to compute the tenth Fibonacci number, we constructed a system of difference equations using fk2 and fk1. We found the matrix A using the difference equation and then computed the eigenvalue and eigenvector. Later, we found the coefficient c1 and c2 from the initial state uo. Let's jump into the Jupyter Notebook to implement this. First, import number pi as mp. Press Shift plus Enter to run the current cell. Let's define the empty function, which takes n as a parameter and return nothing. In the first vision, I want to hard code c1 and c2. Let's put them into a row vector. c1 is 1 over square root 5 and c2 is negative square root 5. We do the same for lambda. Lambda is preserved keyword in Python. So I will call it lam. Lambda 1 is 1 plus square root 5 over 2, and lambda 2 is 1 minus square root 5 over 2. I like to write the last part of every variable as a float number so the number pi won't confuse about its type. I put x1 and x2 as a row vector, since it's easier to type. So the first row is lambda 0, 1. The second row is lambda 1, 1. Let's try n equal to 10 first. The asterisk is pointwise multiply. The double asterisk means lambda to the power n. The dot product is using the at sign. I wrapped c lambda in an array, so the number pi knows it's a 1 by 2 matrix. Dot product x transpose c lambda Transpose will give me the answer. Since both variables need to transpose, I remove the transpose and reverse the order. The result is correct, but it's a row vector. There's no benefit to transpose it after we already have the result, so I just leave it like this. Let's copy the entire section into the empty function. Try call the function with parameter 10. Try the initial state. Try the next state. So we can easily check the answer. So far, so good. Let's create another dummy function. This time, we want to solve the same problem with the built-in linear algebra functions. Recall, a is a 2x2 two two matrix, which contains 1, 1, 1, 0. I'm using the built-in function to compute the eigenvalues and eigenvector directly from A. The coefficient can be computed from the system of equation of x and vector 1, 0. You can pass a row vector in the number pi's matrix solver.
since x and uh, c lambda are in column vector form, we write x dot product c lambda to the power of 10 this time. Same result. Let's copy the code into our dummy function and run it. We got the same result from the first function. Notice that the eigenvalue, eigenvectors, and coefficients are constant. If you need to run the function multiple times, they can be predefined outside the function to improve performance. We just build two functions to compute the Fibonacci number without any loop and recursive. I think it's very cool. Thank you.